Hey Chelsea, how's it going? This is Holden. I said I was going to send you a video with some tips and tricks to kind of increase the traffic to your business and get some more customers in the door. And uh, a lot of times today people just don't realize, but you need a strong internet presence to really uh, run your business well and get some traffic and get customers in. You know, people are searching for everything in Google. And if you're not getting found in Google, you're not getting found. Uh, a lot of times I feel like the only hesitation people have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they just don't know who the experts are and who they're not. So I feel like by giving out this free plan of attack, these three things that you can do yourself today, a lot of it's resulted in a lot of business owners coming back to me and saying, hey, Holden, I could really use your help. So by the end of this video, you feel like I've got some value and you want to chat a little bit more, shoot me a message and we can talk. If not, uh, please take these three free things and implement them yourself. They will help you uh, and get some more traffic to your business. All right, let's jump in. So I see you got a Facebook right here. Uh, one thing that I will say is having a, a website for your business is super, super important. Um, people will, will look at that as your brand awareness. And I can show you, this is your top competitor over here. And we'll see what, I'll show you what he's doing to uh, be able to, to get found in these search results. So when I search for, for spray foam insulation in Brady, Texas, this is the guy that first pops up in the organic search results right here. And the most important thing that that Google has or likes to see is content on their homepage. Now this is a free tool, SEO Quake. When you get your website, you can use this yourself. But this uh, shows me how many words that, that this guy's got on his homepage. And Google likes itself to have about 1,500 words of content to be optimized. And this guy right here only has 1,335. So he's fallen short of that 1,500 words that Google really likes. And as far as uh, content goes, the next thing you want to look at is keywords. And keywords are what people are actually searching for in Google. Spray foam insulation, Brady, Texas. Spray foam near me. Uh, insulation near me. You know, these are also what our people are asking for down here. These are the things that you want to include in your web page. Because Google puts two and two together. They, they see that you've got those keywords on your web page and that people are searching for them. So they want to find the most relevant content that, that people are searching for and connect it so that they can find what they're looking for. So if you don't have those keywords on there, you know, you, you're kind of missing out. This tool, uh, SEO Quake, also shows me how many keywords that these people are using uh, on, their, on their website. Now this person does not have a ton of really great keywords on there. So you can easily beat them out. There's not much of their services. You want things like spray foam or spray foam insulation. So this guy would be really, really easy to beat out for content and keywords. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is this thing right here. This is called the map pack. And as far as the map pack goes, you know, you, you want to have your name, address, and phone number as many times as possible, uh, in, in different, uh, directories online. Things like, like your, your name, address, and phone number in, in things like Yelp, yellow pages, white pages, Facebook, as many times as you, as you can. If your comp competitor has 50, you want 150. You just want to make sure that they can't they can't beat you out and get up to the level that you're at. So after that, the next thing I want to talk about is is this area right here. Uh, this is the organics. Now to get up to the top of here, you need things called backlinks. Google is basically a giant popularity contest. There's links going from one pet web page to another all the time, and the more links you have going to your website from different websites gives you more authority. So if you have you know a really uh, a really well-renowned spray foam insulator supplier that's got a link of a link to your website from their website, Google's going to recognize that, and some of that power is going to transfer over to your website. It's going to start seeing that you've got a lot of these links pointing towards you, and it's going to say, "Hey, this person is super relevant. We're going to have to bring them to the top of Google." So when they, so when people are searching, they find what they want, which is ultimately you. You know, uh, this is the last tool I want to show you. This is called uh, Arefs. They buy they buy data from Google, and in this in this tool, I can see. How many people are going to a website and finding it organically through Google and how many keywords those people have uh, on their website that are being searched for. And this right here shows me how many of those backlinks are going from certain websites to a specific website. So this guy is the top guy in your area and he's got no organic traffic, only one keyword and he doesn't have any backlinks. So if you were to build a website and get just a few of these things put up there, you can easily, easily outrank this guy. Uh, but right now, nobody is finding you through your Facebook. So, you know, if you if you want to, uh, make sure you, you, you find a way to get a, a website and do those three things, which I said were get content on there, 1,500 words of content, and the keywords that people are searching for, 
And then additionally, you want to make sure you get your name, address, and phone number as many times as possible into directories, things like Yellow Pages and Facebook. Uh, and that'll get you to the top of this right here. And then lastly, you want to find those backlinks. You know, how many times you've got websites linking from one place to your website. And you want to make sure that they're relevant. They can't be from some pizza site going to your, your spray foam site. You know, they got to be from another contractor site or something that has to do with your business. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please, please implement these things and get some more traffic to your business. If you want to, to talk some more, shoot me a message and we can chat. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good one.